Hey, bud. Um, 42 three-point attempts for the Bulls tonight. They typically average 28 and a half. Um, just what did you see uh, on your guys' three-point defense tonight? Yeah, you know, I think, you know, first credit to them. You know, not only did they get up 42, they, they made 18. You know, they made shots. Um, Kobe White obviously stands out. You know, he hit two huge threes. Uh, Vucevic made some threes. I think they had five threes in the quarter. So, um, you know, I think it's it's a good kind of learning moment for us, and we need to look at the film and see, you know, 42 is, is a number that we don't want to see. Um, you know, so I think, you know, uh, DeRozan took a few. Um, you know, the, the Javante Green, I know, made a couple in the first half. Um, you know, Patrick Williams, a couple in the first half. And so, um, you know, credit to Chicago. You know, we got to look at the film and see where we could be better. I think the second one Kobe hits in the last couple minutes or whatever, uh, Giannis helps off of him to try to help out on DeRozan. Is that something you guys try to adjust the coverage on, like to shade more help to DeRozan, or is that just a, a instance of overhelping there? Um, you know, I would just say, you know, Giannis is competing. You know, Drew is competing. Um, you know, DeRozan's got 36. DeRozan's a, a, a killer, you know, and so um, – you know, I think the competitive nature, the competitive uh, fire, um, you know, it might have it might have burned us a little bit there. But I, I'll never, you know, when players are competing and, and guys are, you know, um, you know, making plays with effort, um, you know, it's it's hard to be, you know, too hard or too critical of them. And but you know, I think your point and, and that play is is something where we got to continue to work and where we got to continue to get better and. Um, and, and we'll look at it. Uh, how, how do you, or what did you make of the Bulls' um, activity around the rim, especially early on Giannis? I think they blocked four shots of his around the rim, and in, in at least what they credited blocks early. I think maybe five total. Um, just in general, what, what did you think? And then maybe how did that disrupt him with kind of a slow start in the, that first half? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't, you know, I don't know how the scorekeepers do it, but you know, their hands, their strips. It felt like there were a lot of strips down low, so I, I don't know if those are blocks or not. So, you know, uh, they've got a few guys that I think, you know, are, are, you know, got just, you know, defensive disposition. They've got hands. They're strong. Um, you know, they kind of swarmed them, um, and you know, those those can easily be fouls and and ones and and. You know, it felt like uh, you know they they their timing they were they were right on the ball and and they were getting it and um, like I said, you know I was you know very impressed with Chicago tonight. They they played well. They deserve to win. Um, you know uh, you know we got to be a little bit better. Um, a team throws you know that kind of game at us. Can we can we respond? And and tonight they were just better. Um, you know that's another example. You know they made threes. They had hands. Um, you know, they, they were good tonight. Uh, and, you know, but I, I liked our team. You know, we're right there. We had a chance, and uh, we didn't get it done. Um, well, I guess to that point, but how did you see that inbound play develop? Yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I need to look it on film live. You know, felt like we got held. Felt like we couldn't get to the ball, couldn't get to the pass. But, um, you know, end of games, um, I, 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 I think, you know, we just uh, – we got to execute a little bit better. Um, I think a lot of it falls on me. I think, um, you know, got to give them something maybe better. And Chicago defended it well. And, uh, you know, it's just another example where you know, I think I could, I need to be a little bit better there. Uh, Coach, 234 to go. And I know a lot happened after this, but at, at the point, it was really impactful. The shot clock's winding down, and Javon had not scored up until that point and kind of gets to the rim. What do you just think of, of his command in that moment? I know he had to get a shot off, but to get to the rim uh, and, and the capability to do that. Yeah, no, I mean, it was a big basket. You know, all those baskets laid are big, and, um, you know, I think it was a little bit of a scramble situation, and he ended up with, with uh, Vucevic on him at the top, and um, you know, was able to beat him off the dribble and finish in a lot of traffic. So, you know, it's an impressive finish. I thought he made a couple defensive plays. Um, you know, he was a big part of, you know, I think our fourth quarter when, when we went on a good run, um, made some good things happen. I thought he had his hand in a lot of that. And, and just to follow up, you, you had your smaller lineup out there. I think for the first time, 
this season? What did you just see out of it, and why was it maybe the right choice in that moment? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, that we've, we've talked some, you know, having PC back in the mix, and, and really West, to be honest with you, both those guys, I think we have more comfort, you know, going small. Um, those guys are good rebounders, tough, physical. They've got some strength to them. Um, so, you know, we've just been, you know, we really haven't had it as an option um, with the, the injuries. And then Giannis's foul trouble, you know, he sat a lot of the, the third quarter. And Brooke, I think, played almost the whole third quarter. Um, so there were just a lot of little things that went into it. But we, we anticipated um, and we anticipate going forward, you know, with, with Connington back and, and with West back um, that we may be able to use that, um, you know, when needed and, 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 or whenever we want. Uh, you kind of mentioned it there. End of the third quarter, there was a time where it was no Drew or no Giannis for like three minutes. That was due to the foul trouble for Giannis. Yeah, I mean, Giannis picked up his four, so he went. And, you know, Drew, you know, I think this is his third game back. Um, and it was a tough call. You know, they went on a run there um, during that little stretch. And, um, you know, we didn't have one of those two guys on the court and got Drew back in. But... Um, you know, Drew still ended up with big minutes, um, you know, so certainly got to find ways to put the best groups out there. But uh, the foul trouble hurt us a little bit. And, um, you know, they, they went on that run there and that that little four minute stretch or three minute stretch. Uh, 18 turnovers tonight. It felt, feels like the nights where you guys have lost some games. It's been a lot of turnovers. Just what do you see kind of that led to all of those tonight? Well, again, like that's why I don't know, you know, if the strips or are, are block shots or turnovers and, um, you know, a couple charges, um, big calls, um, you know, just random. But and, and they got their hands, they, you know, a couple deflections as I'm like just trying to replay it, answer the question, um, you know, but I, I it didn't feel like it was, you know, gross or things where we're just dribbling it out of bounds or doing something. You know, they, they, they had some good defensive plays. Um, they created some situations. Um, they forced the turnovers. And, you know, we can be stronger. We can be better um, to hopefully limit those. Thanks, bud. All right, thanks.